Greetings, beautiful creatures. My name is Angel Nightmare. Today I'll be showing you guys a new avant-garde look that I came up with on the fly. But let's be honest, all of my looks are avant-garde because my ass don't never plan nothing out. The link to all the makeup products are in the description as always. And the background music you're listening to right now? Yeah, I made that. Angel Nightmare, 2017. All rights reserved. This track is actually titled Red Bug, which is named after this makeup look as well. This song is going to be a part of a soundtrack album I'm working on that you guys will be able to use in your videos and your film projects. I think you guys have seen my foundation routine enough to know what I've done already in this point of the video. And as you notice, I've neglected my forehead because I'm actually going to end up coloring that in red. And you also know I neglected my neck as well because I always end up painting it some other color. For this look, I decided to do a very dark contour for a very dramatic look. And I'm using black eyeshadow for my contour. This beat is fire! Who made this? So now you just take some lipstick and apply it on like normal. What, are you telling me you don't put lipstick on like this? I could explain to you guys what I'm doing here, or I can just shut the hell up and let you guys watch it, and also listen to this fire beat. And from now on, I'm gonna start posting my makeup videos on Mondays. Also, don't worry about your eyebrows being uneven if you screw up. What I always do is incorporate it in my look. Nobody got time to be erasing stuff and redoing it and doing it back over. Nah, screw that. It's a new look. Art. Luckily, mine were pretty even today. They never are, but they were somewhat even today. This red face paint that I'm using is water activated, so make sure that you have a spray bottle or a cup of water near you if you want to use it. <laughs> Got him. And if you're new here, I would just like to personally say welcome and thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more makeup videos. And check out some of my other ones if you haven't already.
here I had no idea what I was doing. I was just kind of going with the flow, but I never have any idea what I'm doing ever. So that's life. If you guys do decide to try this look out yourself, I would love to see pictures of it. You can just hashtag Angel Nightmare or send them to me in a message on Twitter or Instagram or wherever. Social media links are in the description below. And feel free to change things around, use different colors, different shapes, add stuff, remove stuff. Make it your own, you know? Here I'm going in with a black eye shadow to give it some shading and some depth. Are you guys tired of this song yet? Cause I'm not. The stuff I'm rubbing on my face is NYX eyeshadow primer. I absolutely love this stuff. Makes your eyeshadow last all day. And it also helps prevent it from creasing, especially if you have wrinkly eyes like me. Now you guys know that I love me some red eyeshadow. Yeah, like that primer just helps the eyeshadow stick to your face. I love this stuff. And it's in the description if you guys want to get one yourself. It's not that expensive. It's like six, seven, eight bucks, maybe. Going in with some gold and some yellow in the corners of my eyes. And then right here, I'm just doing like some black shading around the edges where I created the line at. And I'm worried about getting out of the line because you can always fix it with more eyeliner which you'll see me do in a second. And then I'm packing on some more red to blend it out a little bit better. This is where I fix all the parts that I don't want to be smoky and have more of a defined line. I'm using red eyeshadow as blush here. I'm using gold to fill in the space between the eyebrow and the crease that I made. And I'm also going to go back in with the black eyeliner and fix some of the lines. Oh, and also, if you guys don't know, I just recently released an album last Friday. It's on my Bandcamp, which is in the link in the description if you want to check it out. Here I'm just adding some more red in places that I feel like need some. Here I'm using the same red that I used on my forehead to add it onto my chin and my neck, and then I'm going to use the red eyeshadow to blend it out. And that pretty much completes this look, the red bug. As always, the links to all the products I used are in the description below. The links to all of my social media are down below too. If you decide to do this look, please share your pictures with me. I'd love to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching. It honestly means a lot to me. Tune in 
for next week's makeup look. I have no idea what it's gonna be yet, but you'll see.